Hi, hello my Pikmin babies. How are you? I hope you're well. It is me, Thomas, coming to you with another watercolor video. Basically, uh, I have found some amazing watercolors um, from Etsy, uh, from Quartz Creations, and this is a video dedicated um, basically looking at the colors uh, that I purchased and some colors that were included, as well as two samples over here. I hope you enjoy. To start with, I want to say that I am just stunned by the colors that I got. Um, I was looking for something special. Um, the colors that I was buying before were kind of basic boring colors um, and the further I explore watercolor world and experiment more, I find that I'm more into um, special colors, colors that separate, colors that granulate. Um, so, and I'm starting to explore um, the the metallic ones, the the shiny ones, the glittery ones, and the sparkly ones. Um, basically, I'm looking for something special to enhance. Uh, the painting, not um, looking for something basic or um, something uh, a beginner might get, uh, but just expanding my watercolor library, my studio palette, basically. To start with, I wanted to say that um, with the order, uh, Katie has kindly included um, two sachets of tea. Um, I've had this one on the day that I received the order uh, and it was lovely. I immediately looked it up where I can get some more uh, and today I'm in the studio and I'm having the green tea matcha lemon. So we'll see how that one is. I just wanted to put a disclaimer that uh, I actually requested some samples from Katie and she was lovely to agree to include some samples, but I did not expect them to be in half pants. Um, I opened the package and my jaw just dropped by the amount of things that were included in the order. Um, yeah, I was expecting something like this, but what I got was uh, a lot more than I ordered, uh, for which I am very grateful if, Katie, if you are watching, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am looking forward to buying so many more uh, from uh, Quartz Creations. Um, so today I will be swatching these colors for you. Um, basically talking about the colors, um, what they inspire, where I might use them, and uh, we'll see if there's any that uh, I'm not too fond of, but the majority were fantastic. I will be um, adding some water to each of the watercolors to activate them. I'm gonna leave them for uh, two to five minutes um, for them to activate. I, I think five minutes might be uh, a bit too much, maybe maybe somewhere in the middle, like three minutes uh, should be enough uh, for the colors to activate and then we'll get to swatching.
Okay, I think that's enough time for the pigments to activate. Um, I've prepared a, a piece of paper. I'm just sticking it down to the table just so it doesn't wobble around. Right, so what I am using is 300 GSM uh, watercolor paper from Claire Fontaine. Um, it's not something I've you I plan to use or use a lot, but um, it's a watercolor paper with um, a decent thickness. Um, and it has a slight granulation which I like um, and I'll be using my trusty Re Pro Art Renaissance Squirrel uh, 2-0 which I believe means if it's gonna focus 2-0 which means I believe it's supposed to be a half size but it's quite big um okay let's let's start with the swatching first color we've got is carmine Next color is Rubin. Then we've got Pyrite, and that's one of the colors that I actually ordered. And I got this one because of its separation. You might not be able to tell now. I mean, I can start seeing some yellowing, but once it separates, you'll, you might be able to see um, a defined se separation between the gray and, or, or a dark brown and the yellow kind of milky color. And I found that so special. Um, it's getting yellower and yellower. I hope you can see that. Just a phenomenal color. Next color we've got is Alcorlano Orange. And if you remember my uh, previous video, um, I'm not a big fan of this kind of orange. To me, it looks very artificial, uh, and I'm more drawn to uh, earthy colors. Let me know if um, if you were to have this color, or maybe if you do, uh, what you'd use it for. Okay, next color we've got is Hematite Luster which is another color that I purchased. And it's another one that is just fantastic. It is incredible. I'll try to do swatches that are big enough for you to see the separations and um, and all of that good stuff. So this one has a slight um, sparkle. And as you can see, it's very uh, granulating. Oh, can you see 
the yellow separation. Phenomenal. Just to me, it's so special. Okay, next color we've got is Carmine Indigo. And it's also a very stunning color. Rich, dark, uh, expensive looking purple. Uh, just gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? Okay, we'll continue with Russian hematite next. Or hematite. Hematite or hematite. Next color I've got is deep blue, also very expensive, rich, pigmented blue. And I'm not too big of a fan of blues, but this is something special. I think I could make some really interesting things with this color same as that purple but I'm, I'm very into purples so I might be biased but this blue is something else so next color we've got is the green And if I remember on the on Katie's uh, Etsy, um, the sample was very um, very pigmented, possibly swatched um, um, right after uh, grinding and mixing. This is to me harder to re-wet or get that much pigment as it looked on the image uh, but it is it is an interesting green green is my favorite color so of course biased but there's it's granulating and um, it looks kind of like a natural moss texture um, and I'm also in love with this. So we've used the space here. I'll just switch to another piece of paper. And we're back. I still have five more colors to swatch. I was hoping to swatch all of them on one uh, piece of paper, but uh, it doesn't matter that much. Um, next, I wanted to swatch this sample of Van Dyke. I believe it was G-E-R mean, stand for German. And I am intending to buy this. This is amazing. Um, if you are interested in something um, to create some interesting effects uh, and you're interested in heavily granulating colors, this is one of those colors to get. Next color I've got is mint, and this is another one from my order. I was intending to buy it. Again, green is my favorite color. I love working with green, and this looked like a very interesting um, 
pastel kind of color. Uh, it does granulate a bit, which I appreciate. To me, it looks like um, like a Celtic mist. That could be a great uh, watercolor name. Anyone want to collab on a green shade called Celtic Mist? Hit me up. Uh, next color is Gold Hue, which I assume is quinacridone gold hue. Um, stunning, just natural looking pigment. Um, Plus you get some uh, granulation, which is a bit richer and darker. Um, just a gorgeous one to use. By the way, I'll apologize again if the camera is shaky. It is not the camera or the, um, the, the phone holder. It is the desk that shakes. Um, it's not very stable. Um, I apologize for that. It's just that uh, while we have some daylight, I wanted to use use it to my advantage, and that means I have to use this desk. Um, I'll I'll say that today is supposed to be a warm day, about 24 degrees uh, in a few hours, um, and it's quite hot. Um, um, but there is no sun, it is a bit cloudy, so it might look a bit dim. Um, I'll do some close-ups uh, right after I finish all of them uh, for you guys. Next color we've got is Aloe Pearl, and it's the last color that I ordered. Um, from KT and it's a sparkly one. Sparkly, shimmery, one of those. It's very subtle. Um, light, warm, green. I was thinking of doing some possibly um, some fairies and maybe use that for the wings. Uh, that could be fun. And the last color, uh, which is also a swatch, is yellow gold. That one had enough time, I think. But I'll just swivel it even more. It's very thick. Um, can you see how how thick it is? Am I using the right word? Thick? Like rich, buttery, that's what I wanted to say about it. Okay. I think I'm gonna let these dry and then We'll come back with my overview of these watercolors, uh, my opinions, uh, and uh, some recommendations. Be back soon.
here's all the colors and all their glorious beauty. I am just so impressed with these handmade watercolors. Um, and I am planning to purchase so many more instead of buying from Jackson's. Um, I know they are not super cheap, but I think they are worth it. Um, I would like to say that some of my favorites must be the pyrite, the separation with the yellow and the dark, darker gray um, is just phenomenal. Uh, hematite luster as well. I've swatched it on a uh, hot press paper that is smooth and um, the separation gets bulkier so it looks more like like here on the Vagone uh, and that's why I loved it. Uh, it does have a slight um, sparkle to it um, but it's more intense uh, when wet and once dry. You can still see it if you put it up to the window, but it's not uh, super intense. It's very subtle. Um, other favorites were the Carmine Indigo and Deep Blue, just for their richness in color and pigmentation. Um, wonderful, wonderful colors. Um, and then there's the Van Dyck um, German, um, I think it's Van Dyck German Ochre, um, I'll have to double check, uh, and Gold Hue, fabulous colors. I'd like to show you something. Um, so I, on Thursday, um, I went to a lab drawing session uh, in, here in Manchester at Studio B. If you're from Manchester, you should definitely check it out. Uh, but basically, um, I've done this um, two minute pose uh, right here and then added the colors later just to test them out and see what worked. So here on the body, I've used the, the pyrite. Just the pyrite makes these color separations and it's wonderful. Uh, and then on the side here, I've used the gold hue and while it was still wet, I added Van Dyck um, German for the separation and it made for this um, deterioration, kind of um, fragmentation looking uh, effect. I am so amazed. It looks like um, maybe there's some kind of warm light behind her and her body is shining. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I could not be more impressed with these watercolors. Um, I, hope, I hope you can see that from this review. Uh, I know through the video you, you might not be able to tell how how great of an effect you can do with these colors. Um, I must say the El Corlano orange, this one, um, not sure where I could use it, possibly when mixing uh, other colors. Um, I'd have to experiment more with that. Um, and I think that was it. The the carmine and the rubin also very interesting colors very glad to add add them and try them out um at the moment in my basket on etsy i've got uh six other colors waiting to be purchased uh i'm just waiting for my payday uh you know supporting everything from my own pocket so yeah, but I'm very excited, very happy, uh, highly recommend uh, you should purchase these. I think that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, 
I'll see you at the next one. If you are new here, please like, comment, subscribe. If you had any favorites from the video, please put them down below in the comments. But for now, that's everything. Thank you so much. I'll see you at the next one. Bye.